think we're on? I don't think yeah, we're on. Yeah, look. Yeah, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Do you know what's on? <coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. You have happened to <coughs> the fun show. The fun show. In quiet contemplation of the news <coughs> of the week. Ah. I'm trying to see what might be interesting to you all. In any case, this is the <coughs> October 17th edition of the fun show here at Big TV. And uh, sitting behind the keyboard, uh, as blissfully unaware as the rest of us, is Michael Sowen. I'm the somewhat fey and confused Arch O'Reilly. And sitting between us is Susan Harrington, <laughs> um, who's deep into a story on uh, future neighbor will tower over Grand Central. I don't know why he brings all the New York people here. Well, because he likes them. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, in any case, um, off the top of things, we have been gone. You can tell that we're out of practice. Um, the, I'm not uh, out of practice. Of I'm us, just terrible. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> none of us were here last week, and the, and the week before that, Michael was off celebrating New Year's. So he's, he had two weeks off. So we should come with fresh vim and vigor and energy. Instead I of spent last week in St. Louis. Yes. Celebrating the, my 55th high school reunion, which if you're any good at math will sort of date me. Um, yeah, you're about 35 now, right? Yeah, right. yeah not I, bad. Great. About over twice that, but that's all right. Um, and I happened to be there during the debacle in St. Louis at Washington University, otherwise known as the town hall forum, or more loosely called the debate. It wasn't meant to be a debate. Um, and I was at the campus of Washington University on uh, the Saturday before the Sunday debate. Yeah, Trump makes all kinds of funny faces on, on those debates, doesn't he? Snorts a lot, sniffs yeah. a lot. Yeah, he but, sniffs uh, a lot. Um, and he, but look, I'm not he saying, looks at every the backsides of people. I'm not saying like, he's yeah. looking, he's on cocaine, but he certainly sniffs, S for sniffs un a lot, undeterminate yeah. reasons. In any case, I found it very interesting. I was watching all the networks set up their commentation, commentating s things on the campus there. And uh, I noticed that Fox in r Red State, Missouri, found it necessary to put up a barrier fence three times the distance from their broadcast center as any other network there. I mean, the MSNBC one, you could stand 20 feet away from yeah. and listen to them. The Fox one, you couldn't get within 25 yards of them on things. However, I was interested in the fact that the college newspaper there at Washington University, they did a poll of their students, <laughs> and 96.4% of the students said they were voting for Hillary. <laughs> so no, that, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's but a, of course, wait a minute, that's, well, as that's we all know, it's rigged. Right. It's all. That's what I was going to say. It's yeah. rigged. Everything it's, is rigged. It's rigged. Yeah. The media is rigged. The yeah. polls are rigged. The voting is rigged. His hair is rigged. And, uh, his his hair is rigged. <laughs> if there's any rigging going on, it's probably being done by Putin's crew. You know, he. You know? The last time I saw him, his hair looked better. Do you think they're working on it? I noticed that yeah, his I hair was not as orange at that debate. No, it wasn't. It was orange-yellow. And, and yet on the next day yes. at his uh, appearance, it was back to being orange. Oh, okay. So I think they used they used on spray on human yeah. okay. on him. <laughs> you, think, uh, you, know, you heard of spray tan? This yeah, is spray, spray yeah. human. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he's a charming guy, and he's got certainly has a lot of adherence or... Red herrings, is that what it is, or something? He's Heron. a nut. Heron. <laughs> He's a nut. That's uh, what he is. He is He is a certifiable pathological megalomaniac. And uh, uh, that, that's, that has a nice ring to it, you know? Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. So you like that, that sound that he just gave that, Susan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, megalomaniac. That's not bad. Anyway, I regretted missing the Harvard-Cornell game. Um, I wish I'd missed the Harvard-Holy Cross game. Um, <laughs> which, uh, but instead I went to my high school football game which and I saw watched them lose 56 to 22 and it wasn't that close. Do you know this kid 
uh, with the euphonious name of Ezekiel Elliott. They had a he's, write up. He's the leading rusher in the NFL now. He's a rookie with the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, he okay. was, he was, I guess he won the Heisman. I'm not sure. He was at Ohio State. Anyway, he comes from my high school. Last year, my high school was the Missouri State champion. Yeah. This year, they're getting wiped <laughs> off the map. They're going to be. Well, was it because all their good players graduated? It's partially that. It's also partially that. They don't have a set schedule. They have to s schedule Whoever. a bunch of teams every year. Oh, boy. They're not in a set league anymore. Oh. In some years, is it they a schedule people who are simply better than they is are. Is it a big high school or a smallish one now? Um, well, it's a, it's a seven-year, uh, six-year school. Um, oh, six years. Seven through twelve. Oh, and very good. It probably has about thirty, maybe eight hundred kids. Oh, that's uh, that's, <laughs> uh, that's fair. That's pretty good. That is really good. It's a small school. I was gonna say that's it's small. an expensive private school. Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought you went. To, oh, yeah. okay. That's uh, that's very nice. Is it like nice. Beaver Country Day and stuff like that? Um, sort of very much. You it's think they uh, like charter schools out there? Out there. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but well, it's, it's going to be on the, on the referendum there. I know, and I still want to know why, why the no. yes on two vote is totally funded by billionaires who don't live in Massachusetts. That should tell you something. Well, it does. It, it, yeah. tell, it tells me they like privates, uh, uh, private it, it, and, and charter and, schools. And they're clearly investing in them to make a profit. That sounds like it's that's yeah. possible. Yeah, like certainly. The, like the certainly. MBTA now with the money room or whatever it's called. And that they, they, they hired outside people to count their money. And that, I think that might happen while you are there. Well, they've had... How, how many scandals have we had in the money room? At a the lot state? of scandals. Oh, and the other thing too is there was a lot of there were a number of fines that they were supposed that they were given yeah. that they've gotten out of. They're not paying. See, if they had a foundation like Donald does, they could just have the foundation pay the there fines, you go. right? They'd be a, they'd be all set. Um, do you think Do you think casinos hire outside people to count their money? Mm. They they got this. Fellow. Maybe Donald does. Maybe that's why they went broke. It could be. <laughs> What's his name? McLean. He's from, he's from uh, th uh, Thailand, where the, the king died a couple, a week ago. Or two. There's a guy named McLean from Thailand. Yeah, well, he went there. He got a job to developing uh, a luxury estate into all kinds of hotel and yep. condos. And this is Jermaine he, took his, he has two kids who were born. They married a This woman. is Jermaine to what? What? This is germane to what? He is interested in uh, setting up a um, uh, a kind of a gambling ca casino, not not a casino, the one with just the um, the slots. Oh, here? Yeah, in Revere. He bought in Revere. Yes, in Revere. He bought uh, Suffolk Down. Not no, a oh. place that a place near there that had. Oh yeah, all yeah, these no, no, he's 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 filed the referendum, right? Yeah. yeah. And the referendum is written su in such a way that the only person who could benefit from it is him. That's. He said it has to be this close to so and so, and not divided by a road and near a railroad, and he's got all these specifications. Okay. In the referendum, so that the only piece of property in all of Massachusetts that would qualify for it is his. Talk about promoting your own interests in know. things. I mean, this is... Well, he's got a lot of people coming out to, to uh, talk up the thing that yeah, he said in yeah. the paper. That well, that's probably the same people who are out there talking up the uh, East Boston Casino. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd like to see the presidential results in East Boston because I think all those... Suffolk Downs workers may be dumb enough to vote for for Donald Trump. Um, what do you got? They're for? dumb enough. But I don't know if they will. All right, I, I do want to point out that this is in fact Brookline Sister City Week. Oh yes, it began. We had a nice poetry reading yesterday, and 
We had a nice reception for the five visitors we have from our sister city of Kesawake. Four teachers, um, to my benefit, um, three of the teachers teach English, since my Spanish is really bad. <laughs> um, and on Thursday, we will have a celebration at Temple of Habay Shalom called A Taste of Brookline. A Taste. Where we will have a whole bunch of Brookline restaurants, you know, that, you know, set up, go yeah, around, browse. Yeah, they're sell tickets so you can make on, a few bucks. Right, yeah. and browse and eat what the people uh, that's, that's, uh, that's offer. That's good. Yeah. And after that, it'll be followed by a free public forum starting at 7.30 at Ohaba Shalom. Um, and it will be correspondent Stephen Kinzer, and the moderator is a fellow you may have heard of called Michael Dukakis. Ooh. So... Um, the, um, Boy, they really so we're having, the right car. at this very moment, we're having a science on screen uh, conversation at the uh, College Corner Theater, which will be followed by a showing of Chinatown. But if you're listening to us, you've already missed the beginning of that. So Thursday is the, is the next thing okay. of interest there. There. So what do, you, what do you got on your extensive list of research there, Michael? I have, I have um, a, a story here about a woman, if I can find it here. I had it, but I'm, I'm looking. Is this woman, oh, uh, well, let's, uh, my wife, uh, uh, Rini said, you ought to talk about the, the pandas are disappearing. The pandas? Yeah, those, they look, it's. Uh, In the uh, wild, you mean? No, in the zoos too. Really? Yeah, they they, they, they were predator predators that are eating the pandas in the wild, and the Chinese are trying to protect them. And I they have a bunch of them. They loaned out to zoos, and there they're getting diseases. And they I don't think the pandas are in much, really much danger from predators as they are in the disappearance of their habitat. All right. Well, what? But last week they found something quite interesting, which was a very rare, and I'm not sure previously seen or not known to be alive at the moment, brown panda. Oh, Instead of black yeah. and white, it was brown and white. So that was that was sort of interesting on things. What do you got in front of you, Susan? Oh, nothing much. I was, just, <laughs> I was trying to read yes. some interesting uh, thing. Well, this is New York. Something <laughs> about a tree. Yeah, that 600-year-old tree. Go ahead. Well, it's it died, I guess. It reminds us yeah. of a play, right? Yeah. A tree grows in Brooklyn. Well, that's right. <laughs> tree older than Columbus finally succumbs, but then there was some interesting little uh, diary. They have this metropolitan diary. Some guy. A poor tree that old had to try to live in the yeah. city. Yeah. Six hundred years, pretty good. Yeah, it, oh. it kind of a shock to its system. Um, well, what you, have you heard about Wentworth Institute of Technology and other local colleges are sell, setting up lending shops? And what are the lending shops for? Students who need business attire for career fair, fairs, conferences. Well, this is to lend them this tuition. This is to lend them decent-looking clothes. Yeah, they don't have suits or, or jackets, mm. the guys. And I don't know about the women. The young women. But that's what it's about. And then afterwards, I guess they turn it back and they have everything cleaned and uh, they, for the next group that come along. So this is something that we've been, various people and nonprofits have been doing for homeless population for, for quite a while. So now they've extended it to college students. Wentworth? Wentworth, not just Wentworth, other colleges are also enlisted. They didn't list the other colleges. You didn't list the other colleges? No. That, well, I thought that was kind of nice. I can't quite envision lending a suit to a kid at MIT. I know. <laughs> you know? And, and, and the Iraq army is attacking the city of Mosul. Yes, and they're making good progress. Yes, they are. That I haven't heard yet. Yes, they're making good progress. They're mainly being in... in impeded by ISIS um, suicide bombers ah. at the moment. Well, they said they had um, a lot of uh, underground uh, bombs that they set up, uh, mines all over the place. Well, this is our best ally in all these years of, 
of these battles in the Middle East. You think they'll stick it Their out? Their best ad ally has been the Pashmurka. <laughs> yeah, the, the, pa uh, yeah. The, the Kurdish. Right. You uh, think they'll fighters. stay, they'll fight. Um, what about the Iraqis? And they got lots of good-looking women in their army. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but, the, but the Iraqis threw down their, took off their uniforms and left all their yeah, tanks. Yeah, you know how long ago that was now? <laughs> yeah, but that's, I'm hoping that, that these, uh, the guys that we sent there to retrain them, do you think? Well, you know, the Donald says that we don't have a chance because we should be doing sneak attacks. We should be doing sneak attacks. All she does is she tells them everything you're going to do. Sneak attacks. Sneak attacks. Okay. And as, as some comedian recently said, yeah, I got awful sick of those public service announcements. We're getting Bin Laden on Thursday. We're going to go get him on Thursday. Seriously. Tune in live coverage of okay. getting ben, Bin Laden. Sneak attacks. That's another person he loves. I mean, he loves Assad. He loves Putin. And apparently he he loves um, the little Korean one, the old Japanese. You know, he loved Hirohito. Oh. <laughs> you, know? you know, I was struck by the fact in that debate he was sitting there saying, uh, "Putin's killing ISIS, and Iraq's killing ISIS, and Assad's killing ISIS." You know what that was? That was Hitler praising Mussolini. Well, maybe. That's exactly yeah. not, what it was. Not bad. But he's so impassioned about Putin. Why don't he just go live in Russia? <laughs> well, because Russia already has a president, and he's much better than our president. Well, I, I, do, you you think, do you think, Susan, that uh, President Obama is going to do anything about what, the, uh, you know, a uh, retaliation for the hot, hot uh, what is it called? Hacking. Hacking. The hacking of our, of our big companies? Well, he has apparently advised the um, CIA to prepare for cyber war with Russia. You and on the you, other hand, the Russian, the Russian prime minister or president or whatever warned us to prepare for thermonuclear war. Um, it's really nice, you know. What an atmosphere this fellow has created for America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time everybody likes each other. for the big TV unrehearsed Thespian Society's presentation for this evening, which came from so far off the top of the vault that yes, we didn't prints. put it away, in fact. Um, we did this a few weeks ago, but since it's so appropriate and so germane and takes you back to a kinder, gentler, the house days of the 2008 presidential election that we thought we'd present it to you again. It is entitled Changing Neighborhood Action. All I keep hearing is Obama versus Kent McCain. Yes, frequently I do also. Well, guys, we are in a presidential election. Well, that's pretty important, I guess. <laughs> I'd agree with that. Our jobs are and savings could disappear. One of these men is going to lead our country. And make critical decisions. But are they smart enough? Well, if they're not, their advisors might be. Well, they pick them. Suppose we get more cronyism instead. What do you mean? A man wants loyal folks around him. <laughs> Forget it. And big contributors? Well, you know campaigning is expensive. Not four more years of George. It's going to be a tough call. Well, we're not your average pussy cats. Uh, you know, a couple weeks ago when we did this, that had a whole different impact. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> we can handle it, though, huh? Sure. Change you can believe in. The Straight Talk Express. Meanwhile, our neighborhoods keep changing. A bank on the avenue is now a taqueria. <laughs> What's that? It's Mexican fast food. Oh. Diversity. What's wrong with American English? Well, a lot of new immigrants speak Spanish. You like time? <clears throat> uh, learn English and become a citizen. Oh, strong language from you, sir. He's concerned about our country's direction. We've got too many illegals anyways. Well, Republicans want cheap labor. <laughs> we can't secure our borders. Why can't the ballots be in English? Wow, you never brought that up before. Plenty of people looking for work. Always. The bank is gone. How do you move those vaults? With a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> what about those big vaults? You get a bigger wheelbarrow. Ah, <laughs> very funny. Max has become a bakery. I already miss their burgers and fries. But your cholesterol is lower. He should be a dietitian. And the cell phone store 
is now a coffee shop. Plug in your laptop with your latte. The ice cream pile is doing fine. Well, it's summer. That's to be expected. People buy a double scoop in December. I like that business. Eh, it's a little labor intensive. But what a sweet, sweet product. Some nights I could kill for it. <laughs> Whoa, what a boss you'd make. Turning out my own ice cream flavor. So is that something that you're telling her? Yeah. You yeah. jumped that line last time. Yes. <laughs> a dream come true. <laughs> Big deal, it's only a frozen dessert. That's not how kids and parents feel. The dietician speaks again. Okay, I'll have a large cholesterol with chocolate sauce. And a sugar cone, please. You guys just don't care, do you? How come there's always a long line? Well, I guess the folks are just suicidal. But the world loves ice cream. Frozen yogurt isn't bad. True, but I'm a purist. You know, JFK loved chocolate sundaes. Nixon probably ate sour pickles. The future of our country is at stake. Bah, a bunch of nonsense. And we're all fools, huh? My thoughts exactly. Too bad they don't give out ice cream after you vote. The polls would be jam. I even like jam on ice cream. Who'll grow up? I give him an idea it, to increase voting. And he's insulting. Well, maybe depressed. Ice cream decreases stress. Well, if that's true, why don't the candidates tell us if they like it or not? It's certainly very American. Perhaps even patriotic. But can ice cream reduce the national debt? Excellent question. And while I'm mulling it over... Will down two mocha almond, con uh, almond cones. And a little pistachio, I hope. A couple of wackos. Ice cream makes the world go around, the world go around, the world go around. What's his favorite flavor? Vanilla vinegar. <laughs> For a sourpuss. I never heard of it, wise guy. Only served it as a last resort. Sort of like a last taste. However, it might bar make Barack and John laugh. While they're adding fudge topping and whip. I'm getting a little queasy here. It's disgraceful, of course. When's the last time he had any? Let me see. Unbelievable, unbelievable. You can't remember. It's inhuman. Even animals like ice cream. Serve it when Congress is deadlocked. Better add a little brandy. <laughs> Rum raisin isn't bad. Fill potholes with rocky roll. Oh boy, that would stop traffic. Why do people smile when they eat it? They're freaks. I protest, this is madness. We're happy and he isn't. We were once dealing with serious issues here. You could buy two quarts for a gallon of gas. But the national debt is nine trillion dollars. When you're eating frozen pudding, who cares? Misery is missing. Joylessness diminishes as I finish my cone. You're, <laughs> you're both impossible, you know that. We have found the truth. And it's at the bottom of the count. Can't imagine life without ice cream. We should feed it to the Muslim terrorists. You know, they might like it. It's addictive. <laughs> Could fill an Iranian missile with it. It'll melt in the desert sun. Al-Qaeda would eat it first. Reality is a different consequence. We could negotiate with it. You realize you're both way around the bend. Wild over ice cream. Whining only about the size of its portion. As a proud American veteran. And I say eating I ice cream. I love my country, yeah. Boy. And I say eating ice cream is patriotic. My made in the United States and delicious. Could you say it's even bipartisan? And gender free. Haven't seen polls on it yet. Because pollsters are busy eating it. <laughs> well, I guess you can't be conservative or neutral about ice cream. Has universal po popularity. So why isn't there an ice cream political party? Yeah, but you know, <laughs> birthday parties are nice too. But that's about a big cake. You can't put candles in ice cream. Once I ate it fried. Oh, beautiful. Give me liberty and give me ice cream. I have not yet begun to eat my sugar cone. Darn the tomatoes, full servings ahead. Many are called, but only one is ice cream. Quoth the raven, ice cream evermore. Fashions change, but ice cream remains. Here today, ice cream tomorrow. Live, Live free, free and eat ice cream. I think I like the pile on changing neighborhoods. Would you give him a taco and shut him up? Blackout. Blackout. The line that still gets me is about tomatoes and ice cream. <laughs> well, um, tutti frutti is what I had in mind. Tutti frutti? Out of Rudy. Tutti frutti? Out of Rudy. Elvis. No. Well, I mean, it, uh, 
was it Elvis or was it uh, Little Richard? I think it was Little No, it was Little Richard, you're right. Little or Richard. was it What did it mean? Brown. No. no. Nothing. No, uh, is, it, is that a real flavor? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What is it? Well, what? Uh, it's got like candy and stuff mixed in. I can't really oh. describe it's, it. It's kind of an Italian it's, ice it's cream. It's like first cousin to Rocky Road. Oh, it's very okay. good, though. Um, very good. It's a vanilla with stuff mixed in. Tutti oh, Frutti. Okay. okay. Well, speaking. I don't think that's what. Uh, I don't think that's what he meant, though. Oh. oh. It, Chuck okay. Berry. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> Eli Lilly, pharmaceutical. After I know Eli. Good yeah. guy. After two failures of new drugs, pressures ahead for a third clinical trial, finally identifying patients most likely to benefit who have Alzheimer's. Okay. So they. We'll see when it comes out. We don't know yet, okay? That's great. Yeah. Alzheimer's is, in my mind, one of the worst diseases that there is. What do you think of the climate around here? He's been away in St. Louis. <laughs> I know, it, it jumped up today, and they say it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. It was very cold a couple of yeah, days ago. Yeah, I know. We had to you, turn on the heat. I don't I didn't like that that much. Well, I got here something about... <laughs> New I England closed my windows and I couldn't move them. <laughs> New England braces for carfentanil, a deadly drug used as an elephant tranquilizer. tranquilizer. What do you think of that? And and it's a synthetic opioid that is a thou ten thousand times stronger than than uh, morphine. So we got that many elephants that need to be tranquilized around here. I don't know. Um. <laughs> This, at this particular moment in time, any elephant in Massachusetts <laughs> needs to be tranquilized. True. Well, I'll tell you, some, yeah, you go. something good, Nigeria, 30 months after being... Only donkeys are allowed. <laughs> at 30 months after being kidnapped uh, by Boko Haram, 250 young women... Uh, 21 were released. Yeah, yeah, 21 because we... They gave up for for uh, Boko Haram guys. I don't know. So anyway, it's four militants were exchanged. Okay. Yeah, it's sort of, sort of <coughs> And then they got, they got this woman. I forget her name. I, I had it down here. It must be, but I can't. I'm looking. I'm not Why are the people these days? We have this huge opioid crisis going yeah. on at the moment. I mean, my Shirley Eustace house, the grounds... They're picking up like every couple of days, twenty or so needles oh. and stuff. And why and are these people so bound and determined to kill themselves? Kill themselves. You're yeah. right. You know. Um, and should I care? Well, the thing is, if you took the initiative that you did to get those drugs to do something else. Well, uh, well, uh, not, uh, the only thing I can bring up uh, with after that is the the chicken referendum. Oh, play. Okay. Well, play right now. Okay. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. Irene, good night. Irene, good night. We'll see you in our dreams. Good night, Irene. Good night, everybody from the Fun Show at Big TV. We've got 30 seconds left, well, and we I'm don't, still looking for that story about <laughs> that that woman who's 903 years old and made chocolate in Dorchester at Phillips Candy. 903 House. years old. No, he said 100. No, 103. <laughs> you got it wrong. It's okay. a great. It's a great way to and get longevity. Make okay. chocolate every day for she 90 years. She says she still eats chocolate and she was 103 years old. I can't believe we're still on, but if we're still on...